Well, cost of living is the number one issue facing Australians today. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, the PM's solution is to bring every man and their dog to Canberra for a, a stunt, a, a talk fest. That's the best the man can come up with. And today, business groups have united, issuing their own warning about tough times, what they're calling an economic storm facing Australia, made worse by the federal government's industrial relations agenda. Luke Actestrat is the CEO of the Council of Small Business Organisations Australia and he joins me now on the show. Luke, thank you so much for joining us. Look, the government is now looking to pass its remaining closing loopholes legislation next month. This has been going on for ages because they seemingly just cannot get this right. What are your main concerns here? Great to be with you, Danica. Look, the reality is it has been going on for a period of time, but the bill needs more scrutiny. You know, this is an 800-page package that has an inquiry on foot that still hasn't reported yet. So from a small business perspective, it's pretty simple. The sheer complexity, the cost and the red tape associated with bringing in hundreds of pages of change in an environment where the cost of living is going up, the cost of doing business is going up, and you've got almost half of all small businesses not profitable. So it's the worst possible time to introduce more complex legislation around casuals, around contractors, around gig workers that won't really improve productivity for anyone in the economy, let alone small businesses or their consumers. Well, that's it. I mean, the reality is it just doesn't make sense in its current form. And we know that casual jobs are so critical to, to any business. How difficult will these laws actually make it to then hire these workers? The laws, appearingly, are set out to make it so confusing, so complex and so costly as well. There's big punishments here for employees that get it wrong around casual work. Uh, the 25% casual loading that workers get, that's really highly valued in this cost of living crisis. At the moment, the definition of casuals is pretty straightforward. It's well understood, used and implemented. But this new proposed definition, it's three pages long. There's 15 different factor tests that an employer needs to satisfy on an ongoing basis. So it's almost as if they've made it just so stunningly complicated that employees will shy away from taking on casuals at all. Now, your beachside cafe, um, your seasonal businesses, uh, you know, even some of your tourist um, attractions as well, they rely on casuals. And I might just say many, you know, famous Australian CEOs started in their organisations as casuals. So this is, a re this is two million people we're talking about, plus two and a half million small businesses. So we're scratching our heads because there hasn't even been any impact statement done on the cost this you know, big piece of legislation is going to have on mum and dad and family businesses. No, look, it's just all talk and surely that's got to impact on already poor productivity growth. And this is what the government just doesn't quite seem to understand, Luke. It's going to get a whole lot harder and leave Australians worse off in a time where they are actually already worse off. Well, what is the point of having a, a talk fest, as you termed it, <laughs> exactly. on Wednesday? We can look at all of these demand side handouts. Now, look, there might be merit in some of those relief measures, but we need the big structural things correct and right. And IR is linked to productivity. So this is just going to run rough shot over all of these attempts at, you know, announcements around the cost of living. So cost of doing business, it's a huge concern for small operators. They don't have the big resources that big businesses have. And the sheer complexity of this bill, it really needs to be massively reworked in parts. We're going to find ourselves at the end of 2024 with less small businesses than we began with. We've only got 30 seconds left, but before we let you go, I want to ask you about the dispute between the Maritime Union and DP World. The government's wiped its hands clean. They're not going to intervene. How big of an impact is this going to have on business? Massive impact on small business. Backlogs, supply chains being congested. It's just a reminder, Danica, that IR has a huge impact on the daily lives of every Australian small business and consumer as well. So we need some real leadership. We need everyone to, quite frankly, grow up and come to the table and resolve this. Absolutely. Leadership being the key word in all this. Uh, it's just astounding. Luke Actestrat, CEO of the Council of Small Business Organisations Australia. Great to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us.